What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here uh, for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about Floyd Mayweather and how he beat the living crap out of a Super Saiyan. So before I get started, um, give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make uh, multiple videos a week uh, and we touch on fitness and martial arts and of course for the older, older man, right? And of course I also touch on I make videos on on fights that I watch that 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 I enjoyed, right? And I don't watch everything, but I do watch, uh, you know, what UFC, boxing, and, and stuff like that, or even kickboxing sometimes. And I just had to make this video for you guys because if you guys haven't seen it, I'll put the link down below so that you guys can check it out. Somebody posted it on YouTube. It's the full fight. And don't worry guys, it's like three minutes of your life. <laughs> it's a, For those of you guys who don't know, so I'm just going to frame this a little bit. Floyd Mayweather uh, took a exhibition match with a Japanese fighter, a Japanese kickboxer up and coming, uh, punches hard, blah, 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 blah. His name is Tenshin something. So anyways, this, this fight was, uh, was promoted by Risen, right? A promotion in Japan. So... It was kind of funny because at, at first he announced it and then after that it, it, it didn't fall through and then they, they announced it again because they worked out their differences or whatever and people were saying how it's supposed to be an exhibition match. So three rounds of three minutes and of course everyone was saying how like Floyd is probably going in. Actually Chael said this and he was saying how Chael was going to go into this exhibition match thinking it's just an exhibition to make uh, some quick money, but that tension was really going to try and knock him out. And so he was half right. Tension did try to knock him out. But what happened was that Floyd wasn't worried about that. Like he knocked this guy, this kid out. And the reason why I call him Super Saiyan, because the guy, the guy walks in and he has, we're talking about tension, right? He had bright blonde hair. So that was kind of funny. And when I was watching, I was like, man, Floyd is just beating the shit out of a Super Saiyan here. <laughs> and and he beat him bad, guys. Like, I'm not a, a boxing expert. I do have a basis in boxing. But all I saw is that Floyd walked him down, kept his guard up, let tension, like, just hit on him a little bit, and then fucking cracked him. Boom, boom, boom. Knocked him out, like, three times. And the third time, that was zip. The, the last knockout was, wow. Like, he punched him in the... I forgot the head, the, the head here or jaw here, and and yeah, that it was done, man. It was a, a clinic. Floyd was laughing the whole time, smiling the whole time, was toying with him, saw him throwing bombs, wasn't even worried about it, just you know took it or just like moved out of the way somewhat, and and it was a beatdown. It was a clinic. It was so funny, and I kind of feel bad for that kid because he probably really fought that he was going to knock out the greatest boxer of all time, in my opinion, defensively, and also, well, just the fact that he never lost. I mean, say what you 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 may about about Money Mayweather, but, <laughs> and, and I think, and, and, oh, wait, 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 the Japanese guy, retention, right? Like, he was crying at the end when he got up. He was crying, man. So I think he was really had his heart set on making an impression and knocking out Floyd, right? Because he really believed that he was going to be able to do that, which is fine because that's the mentality you have to have as a fighter. But anybody worth, uh, anybody who, who does who does boxing and who understands uh, the game of boxing and stuff like that, and not that I understand it at that such deep of a level, but I understand there's levels to this game, to, to any game, really. And Floyd's been doing this for... for Forever, man. I mean, he's what? Uh, he's 40 years old now, 41. And I think he started when he was like 10, 13. He, he was raised in a boxing family. He was at the Olympics. I mean, look at all the guys that he fought, like boxers who are way, way more accomplished in intention here. So, you know, yeah, it was, uh, it was to be expected. And um, oh boy, yeah, what a massacre. So anyways, back to what I was about to point out is that I think he figured out a way to make uh, to keep on making a lot of money because now if Floyd just takes fights with you know up and coming 
uh, kickboxers or boxers and fights them in a boxing match all across the globe. Like everybody would would love to 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 take out Floyd, right? And of course, people would pay to see it, and you know the whole country's backing up uh, their boy. You know, like Japan, everyone was there. Yeah, you know, attention. Yeah, attention. You know, and then Floyd just beats the living shit out of them, and he did it like like as if it was nothing. I would, I, I'm sure he has sparring uh, rounds at his club, at his boxing club that are more that are more challenging than that. It's not to insult uh, attention, but this is the greatest um, boxer of all time we're talking about here. So I think I'm happy for Floyd. So because at his age too, he just want to be competing with like other boxers that you like he he's he's beyond that now at this point. You know, I feel as though, you know, he probably he made his money, he made some good investments. That's debatable, right? Like some people say he's broke and blah blah blah, but whatever, you know. I mean it's an extra it's it's because he, he loves boxing, it's part of him, right? But he's not I don't think he's at this point feels like training and coming out of retirement training as a I mean no he's he's past that he's he's done his legacy is set so now he just has to uh you know fly around the globe take challenges uh with these up and coming this guy's a, a kickboxer he's not a, a full lot full blown boxer so to speak so and then he'll just beat the living crap out of him people will pay good money he'll make he'll keep on making a lot of money that way and it's great it's kind of like a tapering off his um you know, like let's say his career started here, he he went, he got to the summit, stayed there for X amount of years, and now he's just tapering off. But you know, instead of and tapering off, while well, he's taking uh, lesser, not as challenging forms of competition, right? If you want to put it like, <laughs> and he's just like beating him up and having his fun, and it's kind of like his way of you know, easing out easing into his old age by beating up these up and coming but guys who could he could beat like this like with a hand tied his behind 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 his back i feel that he could have beat this guy literally with just one arm <laughs> so it's not a knock on tension it's just uh i found it funny so i'm gonna put the link down below check it out guys i think it's it's it's, it's funny um you know, and yeah, you know what? I, I hope Floyd keeps running around the planet and beating up on, on guys, you know, on other other guys who think who could beat him. It's just fun to watch, in my opinion, and, and he's having a good time. You could tell he was he was enjoying it. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.